You really are one of Vader's finest. Hello figure fiends and collectors, this is me, Daniel East 1000, back again with the Star Wars The Black Series Gaming Greats figure review. Today we're going to have a look at a relatively recently released one in the form of the Stormtrooper Commander. There is another Stormtrooper in the form of the Shadow Stormtrooper, which <sighs> I didn't think I was going to regret not pre-ordering that one, but from the pictures, in hand pictures, I mean, it looks pretty good. And I'm kind of kicking myself for not pre-ordering that one as well with this one. But this one out of the two is the one I was more fussed about just because I have a massive affinity for the video game that this is attached to. I understand why some people probably don't like it as much and I, I do certainly get their qualms with it as well. This figure is based off of a Stormtrooper from the Force Unleashed, which is a video game where you follow Darth Vader's secret apprentice. And it was great, it was a fantastic game. I had it on Wii, of which I dare I say it. I think the Wii version was personally better than the other consoles. The Wii version had the arena battle thing, you also got a couple of extra missions and bosses to fight and I had a great time with it and probably explains why I bought quite a lot of the 334 inch figures from that line. There was a couple obviously that eluded me and this Stormtrooper, not this exact one because it was in 334 inch, but this one um, was one that eluded me for the longest time and I always wanted it and I never got it and to finally have it in 6 inch black series it's really cool but uh, you've scratched an itch Hasbro you've really scratched an itch that once you start scratching I need more I'd really like a Darth Vader's Secret Apprentice or Galen Erso or Starkiller however you want to call him I need, I need a figure of him now I mean literally now more you're right, do Proxy and Juno Eclipse, that'll be great. But, uh, a boy can dream. We're here to talk about this figure, more specifically, of which uh, is based off of the Stormtrooper Commander, which I don't really recall seeing that much of. I do remember that Stormtrooper deco being a somewhat prominent feature with the figures and things and like other promotional material. don't remember facing off against these too much. Maybe it was more on the other consoles than the Wii one. And it's on a postcard, people, but yeah. Anyways, before we look at the figure, we'll get into the packaging, because I've waffled on and reminisced far too much. So, as per usual, it's the bog-standard Black Series packaging, which we'll soon to be saying goodbye to, unfortunately, as they are introduced in the new packaging. And along with that is the loss of the lovely Gregory Titus artwork that appears on these. Usually with the standard figures, they are just like black and white sketches of the actual characters, but with these Gaming Greats ones, they implement a bit of colour that relates to that character and that follows throughout all the packaging. And the electric blue on this is, again, another itch. Kind of want to get more of these because they're so, so nice in box and out of box as well, which we will get to in a moment. Of course, you've got the Gaming Greats logo there, nice foil sticker on the side, you've got Gaming Greats, no number there because it's an exclusive fee to game stores or wherever, you know, it's it's got to that point now where it's just like, yeah, we're going to get that, but every other retailer that can get their hands on it is also, so, and it's on a postcard, people, it's, uh, it's a mad, mad world at the minute in terms of the exclusives and the amount of them, but that's a whole other conversation for another day. So you got the Stormtrooper name on the side there, on the back you've got a bio which I will include in the description if you want to read that. Star Wars The Black Series, a uh, nice picture again. Star Wars The Force Unleashed logo there as well which features on the front and a ton of legal guards. So with the packaging out and done with let's have a look at the figure itself of which Oh boy, it's another Stormtrooper, you're probably thinking, but to me, ah, oh jeez, they've done something, it's not just the paint apps, obviously, but in terms of the plastic quality they've used, it's different, it's not as glossy as other Stormtroopers I've come to own, it's a bit more matte finished, and I really, really like that for some reason, it just looks a lot better, and, ah, oh, 
I just, I kind of want a Stormtrooper just with this sort of finish. This figure just really pops. It's just an absolute standout Stormtrooper. Obviously because of the colours, it's not just like plain white, it's got blue. Um, I don't know if it's nostalgia playing at me because I've always wanted this Stormtrooper Commander. But, oh, I just, I really like it. I really, really like it. Um, he's got lots of battle damage and scuff marks. I love that marking going along his helmet as well. When you put this next to Vader, it does does look the business. It is, at the end of the day, another Stormtrooper, but it's a Stormtrooper I think if you have an affinity with the Force Unleashed video game, you sort of need. Just to inform people as well, this is the older Stormtrooper sculpt, not the new one that's soon to be reintroduced. I don't want to be nitpicky, but see a couple of people saying, oh, this is the new one. It's like, nah, nah. It's got, it's got door hinged knees, door hinged elbows as well. The new one doesn't have that, it's ball joints. No how much I love them. Bloody ball joints. No. Yeah. We'll not get into that. I've said it way too many times in my other videos. But yeah. This is the older Stormtrooper sculpt. And this is probably going to be one of the last times we see it. So. It's so damn fitting they do it with a figure as nice as this. So. Yeah. Nice one Hasbro on that. Thanks for slightly rubbing our face in the dirt a bit. But. Nonetheless. He is absolutely gorgeous. Um, in terms of accessories. He comes with the same accessories that the standard Stormtrooper comes with. Um, this long blaster rifle, which is nicely weathered with silver. If you've owned a Stormtrooper, you've seen plenty of these. You've also got his blaster that slots into his holster there. And if I just take that out of his hands and display him with that as well. You can hold that quite nicely. There you go. He looks, he looks the absolute part. I'm never over enamoured by troopers, but this one's, this one's got me on the nostalgia feeling for sure. In terms of articulation, it's exactly the same as the standard stormtrooper, the older sculpt, which has a ball jointed head, ball hinged at the neck, so it can look up and down, left and right. Plenty of articulation there. Ball jointed shoulders, swivel at the top of the bicep, double hinged elbows, ball jointed wrists, a ball jointed torso, ball jointed hips, swivel at the top of the thigh, double hinged knees and ball jointed ankles with rocker joints. So you can get this guy into plenty of poses and by all means you'd want this guy in a lot of poses particularly if they did release Starkiller so you can have him in. Well, I'm falling over, I'm flying all over the place, kind of, you know, stances. Not that there are any stances, you need like flight stands or something for that, but yeah. He was an angry boy in that video game for sure, and had a penchant for throwing stormtroopers all over the place like ragdolls. But we won't do that to this one, because he's just so damn nice. <sighs> Honestly, I really do hope we see more gaming greats, troopers and characters implemented into this fantastic exclusive line. I do like just having these little fellas just sprinkled in throughout the year. The nice little variants and repaints of figures we've already had. With, in the case of Django Fett coming out soon, some nice retooling. But nonetheless, really pleased we've got this guy to celebrate the Force Unleashed. Let me know what you guys think. Have you picked this guy up? Haven't you? Let me know either way in the comments below. So this is me, Daniel Eastman Fowles, and sign out and thank you very much for watching.